Now, little puppies unfortunately can't speak our language and we can't speak their language. So they don't have an option to tell us how they're feeling. If they're having a bad day, they can't really communicate that with us easily. And they don't always have the ability to take themselves out of a situation that they're unsure of. So if they're put in a situation by us, they don't have the option to, to run away and go and have a duvet day. So for us as their carers, we must know our dogs really well. We must be able to spot the signs of how our dogs are feeling. We've got to understand what is their normal behavior and their normal body language in a positive situation, and then start to pick up if there's any abnormalities in those situations. So this graphic that we're showing you now is a really good guide to the most common body language signs for you to look out for. Body language is our dog's biggest communicator, so be sure to listen to it. If your dog appears scared or stressed around a person or a place, have their back, be their carer, step in and take them out of that situation. Behaviours that aren't listened to or acted upon can just escalate so, so quickly and turn into potentially dangerous situations. So look out for the signs of your dog's body language, step in and put them in a better situation if they're feeling a little bit stressed.